Hello guys, it's Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today, it's time to take a look at an Airgun Classic. This is the Diana 34 Classic to be exact. Let's get into it. Okay, so this sort of takes me back. It takes me way back, actually, because when I first started doing air gun reviews, it was guns similar to this, and I always aspired to get a Diana product. I tried a lot of guns that were cheaper imports that were duplicates and whatever of these, and they really never, they, they never hit the mark. There's just something about these guns. They're built very, very well. They look great. They're just classic. This gun here, it's got some great lines. It shoulders very well. It's very well balanced. There's a lot about this that I like. One of the things I, I personally like, and for some of you guys, you may not like this, they're not trying to do too much with this. They didn't take a classic small form gun and try and make it shoot 25 foot pounds. This is shooting right around 13, 14 foot pounds. When you get the RWS hobby pellets, which are 11.9 grain, they're doing right around 720. Now, the box says 800. We know how that works these days. They just don't hit spec. It's, I think that's terrible, but it's what manufacturers do, and I wish they didn't do it. But this is doing about 720 with the RWS hobbies. Now, I tried a bunch of different pellets, and really, I. I probably want to hunt small game with this, clear out the garden. It's not so much power I'm going to overpenetrate. It's got plenty enough accuracy at 25 to 35 yards to get the job done. It's lightweight. It's easy to cock. It's fun to shoot. It's got all those things I like. So I actually went with a more aggressive pellet, and I did a lot of testing, and I came to the H&N Hornet pellets. Now, these guys are just devastating. Not only are they devastating on a small game, they actually shoot really well out of this gun. Um, we're getting right around 600 feet per second, which is right in that power point, you know, right in that, you know, 13-ish foot-pounds, give or take a little bit. And it does really well, and it's not hard to shoot in the sense of it's certainly not hard to cock. The trigger is probably one of the best triggers you're going to get in a spring gun, period. I don't care what you're paying. It's just phenomenal. This is the T06 trigger, fully adjustable, down to ounces if that's what you like. Out of the box, it's way less than two, two pounds. So. It's just a really, really exceptional trigger. This is really one of those guns that you're gonna take in the backyard. You're gonna shoot, you know, 50 or 60 rounds through it, maybe 100, maybe 200, and you're not gonna get fatigued doing it. It's not hard to cock, it's not hard to shoot, and it doesn't punish you. Um, I mean, it does want you to use good technique, but it's not, it's not gonna really punish you if you're not perfect with your technique. There's an automatic safety when you cock the gun, it pops it on. When you're ready to fire, you take it off safe. Go ahead and aim it at your intended target. And there's a jackrabbit running right across my range and standing perfectly still. <laughs> I wish I had another camera to show you, but he is just standing right there. And I have no reason to shoot him, so I'm going to let him go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this shot here. There it is. Now this gun out of the box, it was pretty well accurate. I did clean the barrel because I was getting a few flyers here and there, but after I cleaned the barrel, it really calmed down. And I haven't really shot a lot through it. I've probably put maybe 150, maybe 200 pellets through it, and it responded very, very well, very quickly. So I'm shooting at 25 yards, and here's a bunch of shots. I think I probably took about 10 shots, but that's what we're getting. And at 25 yards, I'm pretty well unhappy with that. Um, that is definitely all kill zone all day, and I'll take it. And this thing's pushing that 13 foot-pounds or so with those h and Hornets, which are probably some of the most devastating pellets I've ever used for a small game. So this thing is a garden pest elimination machine if that's what you're looking to do. Now, what I've done on top here is I'm running the Hawk. This is the Hawk Air Max. I really like this scope. It's pretty simple, but it has a really nice etched glass reticle, which is important that you match the right scope with a gun. Springers, they can tear scopes up, so you want to use a scope, personally I prefer to use a scope that has an etched glass reticle. They seem to hold up better, and this Hawk Air Max does a great job for me. No issues with just repeatable accuracy, which is what you want 
out of a classic air gun. You want that classic performance, classic accuracy, and this thing gets it done. If you're looking for your first air gun, and I get this question a lot, Rick, what should I buy for my first air gun? Well, if you've got about 280 bucks, which is about what this is going for these days, it's hard to go wrong with the 34. It is just one of those guns. It's not flashy. It doesn't have a fancy stock and whiz bangs and all these other things. It's just a classic gun that just performs. And this thing is something that's gonna perform for years and years and years and years. Diana knows how to build air guns and they've built a classic here, a great air gun in the 34. If you want something with more power, they've got that too, the 350, the 460, all of those guns from Diana, I've had all of them and they all just perform really, really well. This one is still a favorite. The classic 34, just a classic air gun. Guys, I wanna say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Air Gun Web in these videos. When you're looking to get your next air gun, looking to get your next batch of air gun supplies, maybe you're, you're a first time buyer and you don't know quite what to get, give them a call. Go to www.pyramidair.com and please let them know that Rick sent you their way. My name's Rick Utzer here with Air Gun Web where we're gonna tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.